Now if you're looking for a solution to play games straight from a hard drive in your PS2 console, please watch on and we'll show you how to do it. So before we start, what we'll need is obviously the PS2 console itself, a SATA hard drive adapter, a preloaded free MacBook memory card, a USB stick and some games to install. The hard drive adapter has a SATA fitment. I'd recommend going with the SATA adapter as hard drives are more readily available and also cheaper. From experience it's easier and quicker just to buy a preloaded free MacBook memory card. There are ways of making one up yourself. I think there's other guides on YouTube showing you how to do that. Both the hard drive adapter and memory card are available on Amazon. I'll put links in the description below. When it comes to the hard drive you can choose to either use a mechanical hard drive or an SSD. The SSD you won't really get the benefits of it being faster as the PS2 console does have its limits when it comes to that. Before we move ahead, let's take a look at this video's sponsor, PCBWay. A big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. PCBWay offer many services from 3D printing, CNC machining and also PCB assembly which starts at only $29 for 20 pieces. They offer a very fast turnaround and also worldwide free shipping for PCB assembly orders. This month is a very special month for PCBWay. They're celebrating their 10th anniversary. You can take part in different activities, unlock bonuses and get exclusive money off coupons. It's an exciting time to be involved with PCBWay. Please find the link in the description below. And don't forget there's a $5 sign up bonus. So now let's put in a free MacBook memory card. And start up the console. As you can see the free MacBook logo screen comes up. And now it puts into a custom menu system. There's two ways we can go about this. We can install the game straight onto the hard drive and continue to use the free MacBook memory card to access the menu system. Or what we can do is create a bootable hard drive which will automatically boot into free MacBook without the need for the memory card. What that will do is install the free MacBook software onto the hard drive itself. Then we won't have any need to use the memory card. What the advantage of that is, is it frees up the memory card slot and it means the hard drive is always bootable. You don't need anything else for it, you just plug it in and that's it ready to play. So before we go ahead and do this, we'll head over to the laptop. We need to download a couple of files and put them on a USB stick. So now we've put the files we need onto a USB stick, let's go ahead and plug that into the console. Before removing or plugging in any hard drive, it's also very important to note to turn the console off beforehand. On the rear of the console, mine doesn't have it as it was removed a long time ago. There's a cover here, we want to remove that cover and we'll go about putting our hard drive in. So with the hard drive, I'll always attach the adapter first, make sure it's nice and tight. and slide it into the back, pushing the adapter onto the console till it clicks. There are also two tightening screws here you can tighten up if you wish. It just keeps the hard drive nice and secure. So let's start up the console with the memory card and hard drive attached. So now what we're going to do is use a file, one of the files we transferred onto the USB stick. We're going to use that to install FreeMit Boot onto the hard drive. In order to do so, go down to Launch Elf and press the X button on the pad. And now just push any button. So now you want to navigate down to Mass 
which is a USB stick and press circle and then here we'll find the files we've transferred over to the stick so what we want to do is select the free mcbinstaller.elf file highlight that and press the circle so now we have the free boot installer screen so what we want to do now is use the top shoulder buttons to navigate the menus until we find install FHDB which is free hard drive boot so we want to click X once we've highlighted that and now it will ask to format our hard drive which of course we'll go with OK and yes to continue the install again press X once yes is highlighted and now we're just going to sit and wait for it to install which isn't too long it usually takes about a minute if that and installation is now completed so we click OK so now that's done we can turn the console off and remove the memory card so now we've removed the memory card all we've got is uh, the hard drive and the PS2 now if everything's been correct we can start up the PS2 and it should boot in to frame it boot straight off the hard drive There we are. So now we've booted, booted up straight into the free bit menu without the memory card in. It's now working straight from the hard drive. So what, what we want to do now is install a bit of software on the hard drive that will allow us to rip the disks onto the hard drive. We've downloaded that and put it onto a USB stick. So what we'll do now is we'll install that onto the hard drive. So let's go to W launch elf again highlight and press X and into the file browser circle down to mass circle and HD loader so what we want to do now is highlight that and press R1 and you'll see a little menu pops up what we want to do now is copy that so highlight copy and press the circle and now go back up to the top there and press circle again to come out of that folder and back again now we want to go into the hard drive which is HDD0 highlight that and circle into systems config and press R1 again and we've got our menu back and now we want to paste that file into here and now we've copied that file onto that the hard drive once we've done that now we'll restart the console now this next step what we're going to do is set a path for it and a title so we can launch it from the menu here so in order to do that we're going down to HD boot configurator highlight that and X press X and now we go on down to OSD sys options and press circle move down to configure item and if you press right on the d-pad you can move through them we'll find an open slot there and press circle and now we want to name that HD loader. Select the letters and press circle to type them.
Okay, now we want to set the path for it. If you remember, we've copied and pasted it into the system config on the hard drive. So what we'll do is go and find that. Down to HDD0, sysconfig, and there it is. So we highlight that and press circle, and it shows up there. Now back to return, and again return. And this part's very important, we need to remember to save it onto the hard drive, otherwise we'll have lost the path and it won't work. So go down to save to HDD0 and circle. And as you can see at the top it's now saved and exit now. So what we'll do now is reboot the console. So now we're back in the menu, we should now find the HD loader is now in the menu. There we are, so highlight that and press X. Which puts us into HD Loader. So now we want to go ahead and install a game disc. So what we'll do now is install our game. Now the really good thing about doing this as well is you can actually buy import games and even though they won't work direct from disk, if you install them onto the hard drive they will play from the hard drive so it opens up a whole new library of games whether you want to install Japanese games or US games or UK games it's, it'll play them all this way. So what we want to do now is go over to the toolbar and down to install and press X. As we've already got the game in the drive, just click continue, X again. Now we choose a name, the game in question is Tekken 5. And once you've done that, Highlight end and X. And now it's just going to go through the process of installing the disk. It is quite a slow process as you can see it's saying it's 25 minutes. The drives, the drive on these, the read speed is pretty slow so you have to be quite patient. And to be honest Tekken 5 is quite a big game, I should have probably picked a smaller game. But we'll let that install and we'll come back to it. So now we can see that installation is complete. Now we'll click OK. And now we have a game list with one game in it, which we've just installed, which is Tekken 5. So now it's safe to remove the disk. And with no disk in the machine, we can now play the game installed in the hard drive. So now you can play all your games straight off the hard drive, it saves any of your discs getting damaged and such, so really good option to do if you've got a PS2. Thanks for watching, hopefully this helps somebody out, and I'll see you again in the next video. Cheers, bye bye.